Tesla Model Y finally gets track mode via latest holiday update. December 15, 2022. The Tesla Model Y in performance guise is getting the much-awaited track mode. Two years after its introduction, and many promises later, the track-focused mode is available now via Tesla's latest over-the-air holiday software update, which also includes other feature improvements and changes, such as Apple Music integration, Steam integration on Model S and X vehicles, and new, longer custom light shows that can be scheduled up to 10 minutes in advance. The track mode, which was previously available only for the Model S Plaid and Model 3 performance, allows the driver to make up to 20 driving profiles, each with its custom settings for handling, stability assist, regenerative braking, compressor overclocking, and post-drive cooling. Additionally, track mode can record laps via the car's onboard cameras and collects a host of data for analysis, like acceleration, braking, tires, and GPS-based timing. Now, it's worth mentioning that the Model Y isn't exactly a track weapon. With its sedan sibling, the Model 3, being a better choice for the twisties, as it has a lower center of gravity and better aerodynamics. But you never know, maybe the Model Y is a wolf in sheep's clothing. And the next thing you know, it will become a regular on track days. The full release notes are below. Track mode has been improved to make it easier to monitor the status of your car. Create custom track mode settings profiles and record your track day data. Monitor the status of your car motors, battery, brakes, and tires, allowing you to adjust your driving in real time. G meter, a real time accelerometer, can now be viewed in the cards area of the touchscreen. The map now displays a lap timer. Follow the on screen instructions to place a start. Finish pin on the map. At the completion of each lap, the lap timer displays the duration of the lap. It also displays the times associated with the previous and best laps in the driving session. Track mode allows you to save up to 20 track mode profiles to suit your preferences or driving scenario. Or customize for a specific track. A new settings profile can be created by tapping track mode settings and GT. Add new settings. Entering a name for the settings profile. Then adjusting settings including handling balance. Stability assist. Regenerative braking. Post drive cooling and compressor overclock. Refer to the owner's manual for more information regarding each setting. You can now save a video and data of the track mode driving session to a plugged-in USB flash drive which must contain a folder named Tesla track mode. Without the quotation marks, when save dash cam for laps is enabled, track mode stores a video of each lap in a driving session when using the lap timer. Track mode also stores the car status and telemetry data including details about the vehicle's position speed, acceleration, and use of accelerator which is stored as a CSV file on the USB flash drive. What's your take on this? Would you take your Tesla Model Y performance on the track? Now that it's available with track mode, source reposted and summarized from Julian Nystrand at Inside E. V. S. My take it's about time. The Model Y owners were feeling left out. Morgan Stanley names Tesla stock as its top pick. December 15, 2022, Morgan Stanley named Tesla one of its three top picks for 2023, citing its future growth opportunities. Despite Tesla's recent challenges with its stock valuation, many analysts still see the automaker stock as an opportunity for value growth. Forbes and The Motley Fool have recently published pieces putting forward similar arguments, while U.S. congressmen have yet to sell their stock in the company. Now, Morgan Stanley has named Tesla as one of its top picks for 2023. CNBC initially reported on Morgan Stanley's Tesla pick, and the analysts quickly highlighted the investment group's optimism. Not only did it maintain its price target for Tesla at $330, counter to moves from Goldman Sachs, but Morgan Stanley doubled down, stating, while we see 2023 as a challenging year for the EV market categorically, we believe Tesla's gap to competition can widen. Some believe Tesla's inclusion on Morgan Stanley's list is a questionable choice, as pointed out by CNBC. Many are worried about the company's growth in the near future, particularly relating to Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Many investors have argued that Mr. Musk has become too divisive or that he may be dedicating too much time to his newest acquisition, Twitter, and as mentioned above. These concerns were exemplified in Goldman Sachs' most recent Tesla stock price target cut from $305 per share to $235, 
Tesla is familiar with the separation of its stock price from more tangible measurements. Even Mr. Musk at times claiming that the stock's price was inflated. However, we may be seeing a disconnect in the opposite direction. Looking at Tesla's financials and the company's future, investors can get a better idea of the condition and perhaps opportunity of the stock. Tesla has solid fundamentals, high earnings and profitability, low amounts of debt relative to competitors, and continuous growth in demand for all of its products. Looking at future product offerings offers more good news. Tesla has yet another opportunity to become a disruptor within the automotive industry with its semi-truck, which it has already started to deliver. The brand's hotly anticipated Cybertruck is finally coming to fruition, with pre-fabrication work already occurring, and the next generation of the brand's golden goose, the Model 3, is just on the horizon. This is not to say that Tesla's stock success is guaranteed. Far from it, as pointed out by numerous market analysts and even Elon Musk himself. The global economy is in a very precarious situation currently, especially as the United States Federal Reserve continues to push interest rates ever higher to battle climbing inflation. At the same time, supply shortages may only be getting worse instead of better as the tension between the US and China continues to build, leading to numerous tech suppliers facing challenges in producing essential parts. Instead, Morgan Stanley might be arguing for a healthy dose of cautious optimism. In the short term, it remains pretty evident that many tech stocks could continue to fall. Still, for those willing to hold their position, perhaps until recession worries pass by, they may be in for a fantastic opportunity. Source reposted and summarized from William Johnson at Tesla RT. My take I don't know about you. I have been loading up. Now is the time. Tesla considers sites in Canada for lithium refinery. December 15, 2022. Tesla enters the lithium mining business and has already selected one site in the US according to Tesla's senior global director. The company is additionally considering sites in Louisiana, US and in Canada. Tesla has the plan to grow its production capacity very quickly and is on track to produce 20 million vehicles a year by 2030. However, in order for the plan to be possible, the company needs the metals for the production of batteries. In 2020, Tesla entered the battery business. Although the company has short-term contracts to supply the materials needed to make batteries. In a few years the entire industry will face shortages. As mining is not ramping up as fast as the industry needs. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has repeatedly urged miners to expand the production of lithium. Which is a key metal for the production of lithium-ion batteries and the production of electric vehicles. I'd like to once again urge entrepreneurs to enter the lithium refining business. The mining is relatively easy. The refining is much harder, he said on Tesla's Q2 2022 earnings call in July. You can't lose. It's a license to print money. Ultimately, to prevent future shortages of lithium, Tesla also decided to enter the mining business. It did not come as much of a surprise. As in 2020, during Battery Day, Musk announced that the company would do it. After that, Tesla filed several patents for the method of mining lithium. In September 2022 it became known that the manufacturer is considering building a lithium refinery on the Gulf Coast of Texas. During the Q3 2022 earnings call, Musk confirmed the plan yes, we're also building lithium refinery. He said, another company executive said the location is in Corpus Christi, Nusis County, which had been considered a potential location, with no official confirmation from Tesla, at Corpus Christi. Tesla has already made significant progress. And on December 5th, the project was approved for local tax incentives from the Robstown Independent School District. In addition to this positive news, more information has become known. During his speech at the meeting, Tesla's senior global director Rowan Patel said the manufacturer, in addition to the Nooses County location, is considering sites in Louisiana and Canada for the lithium refinery. According to Caller Times, the company expects to select a location in the coming weeks. Tesla representatives declined any other comments. Building a lithium refinery in Canada might make sense. The manufacturer's recent activity in the country, which included hiring for some key positions, hinted at this. In addition, according to recent information received by Drive Tesla, Tesla is already close to signing a deal to establish a facility in the region north of Toronto, Ontario, although its purpose remains unknown there is a high probability that it will be associated with the lithium refinery.
Source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take there may be more than one refinery location. Tesla Giga Berlin starts third shift. December 15, 2022. Tesla Giga Berlin starts operating in three shifts this week with an initial capacity of 4,500 Model E's per week. This will increase production capacity by 64% compared to November. Gigafactory Berlin will start working in three shifts from December 16. According to the Moz report, this means that Tesla in Germany will be able to produce cars around the clock. According to the information, the factory expects to produce 300 vehicles per shift. This means that 900 vehicles per day will be produced, 64% more than the 550 vehicles per day that Giga Berlin was producing at the end of November. The last official information about the production capacity of the factory was received on October 1st. It was then announced that Giga Berlin was producing 2,000 cars a week. Since then, on November 28, unofficial information has shown that the factory was already producing 550 vehicles a day or more than 3,000 Model E's a week. It is worth bearing in mind that Giga Berlin has a five-day work week. However, one to two times a month, the factory works six days a week, so it is difficult to calculate the exact number of cars produced. With the third shift, Giga Berlin's production capacity will increase to 900 Model E's per day. This means that in a five-day week, 4,500 cars will be produced per week. If, after the start of the third shift, the factory has two six-day working weeks. Then this will mean that Tesla will reach a production capacity of approximately 5,400 Model E's per week. The company's goal was to reach a production capacity of 5,000 vehicles per week by the end of 2022. Early 2023. And everything seems to be going according to plan for now. Source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take Giga Berlin is ramping up very nicely.